Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. So today we're going to do this haul. We are going to literally, I have a huge box. I'll bring you guys out a little. Okay, so there we go. Huge box full of alley stuff. A few more things over here on the side. And yeah, I thought we would just go through it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... Sorry for making you guys probably dizzy. We're not going to do it all in this one video because let's, let's be real. That's going to be a heck of a long video. But what we are going to do is we're going to run it for a half hour. I say like roughly half hour. Let's do that. You know me. I still like long videos. So half hour hauls. Let's try to get it done in like two hauls. And then I'll just throw these in here and there. And we'll have some goodies. But I need to see what's in these so I stop buying the same things over and over. i got to grab a basket though because I completely forgot about that one moment. Alright guys, so I got a put away bucket because let's be real. And a garbage bag this time. Oh. Let's go, shall we? So we're just going to dig in. Some of this stuff I've had before the move and some of it I've been getting trickling stuff in now. So... Before it gets too crazy, and I really don't remember what's all there. And I remember looking back and seeing when I was going through one of my put away bins that I definitely have bought some stuff I didn't need to. So these are some long nails. I believe you can use these as like tips or full cover. I think they're like half cover nails. I probably would cut that down a little and use it for a tip or full cover I don't I don't really do half cover but she long I really got it just to do some practice art on so I think that would look good on my nail yeah see perfect we can do some Christmas art but if you wanted to put it on yourself I believe those are half cover but you can use it as a tip or a full cover or a half cover. Personally, I've never tried half cover tips, but I've recently learned that that's what those are. And these are hella long too. Are these? Same type of thing. That is, I feel like that's a square. And this is a um, coffin, sorry. Use my train of thought. So some nice long tips we'll make some good nail art with. Put it in the bin. Another one here. So this is going to be very all over the place, guys, to what's in here. Because, like I said, I've ordered some of it when it was Halloween. I did try to pick out the Halloween stuff, though. But there we might have come across a few, well, a few different things. Who knows? But here we have some nice Christmas art. Those are so cute. So these are 5D stickers. And all they are is just raised stickers. So they give you texture. Exactly what I have on my nail now. So two packs of them. And the same here. Two packs of these. That is super cute though. This is why I wanted to do this. Today is the 15th of December, so if I don't get in here and see what's in this, these all these goodies, then I'm just not going to be able to use them. Let me see what we have. Another, another um, bag. Okay, so this to me looks like a mixed pack of lace. I didn't have a lot of lace decals. And sometimes when you're, I don't know, your stamping just isn't coming out right, or want detail and you can't draw it it's always good to have decals if you're just not a big drawer or... so this is exactly what this is this is just all sticking together rude okay oh One bites the dust. I don't know why these are all sticking together, but they are sticker decals. 
Unfortunately, it's just this material that they have and I didn't put nothing in between them. So unfortunately, you might lose one or two. So they're just like lace strips, I feel. I don't know why. If I knew it was that's exactly if they were all like that, but I feel like you could definitely use these and get some good detail on them. Use them as just like lines coming down your nail, something like that, or just, you know, that would even look good just to have like an accent. So some white lace, I'll have to go through. They all seem to be different though, which is nice, but we just did our sticker organization. So we will have a place to put these, which I do have a lace section. So that's awesome. But, but one did die there and I see like black stuff already on my freaking hand. You see, it already have a hand itchy. All right, on to the next. Because I see them out and they're just there. Now I got these. I know you're probably like, why are you getting such big brushes? But I thought these would be really good for water coloring. I really want to try some stamping with water colors. And I didn't really have any brushes, so I thought these would be good. You know, like all of them, but like that one even you can hold a good amount of water and then you can just color it in the nail. What's sticking to me? This is a little guy. I thought they would work good for watercolors. I think they will. So it does come in a whole set, which I like. Will you please stop sticking to me because you're actually annoying my life. Get over there. Get off me. I thought they would work really good for water coloring on the nail. Oh, put them in the box. Oh, okay. Here we just have some. I, you know, I think I got this at Crazy Ben Slow. I think I got it for like a dollar or something. I was like, um, can't go wrong with that. I think that's why it's full of glitter. But we just have some dotting tools. Just wood, pretty basic, but. Again, you can never go wrong with having dotting tools. They work for many, many different things. Okay, so we have a couple things out of bags. Some more brushes. Okay, so we have some liners. Ooh, these are very fine liners. You can see that. Not really, eh? Let's take it out. And thank you to everybody that said my lighting was fine, but I did go and buy a daylight light, so <laughs> she's extra bright now. Okay, why are you sticking to my nail? Get off me. Do you see how fine they are? I don't know. Let me get this out. They look okay, wow. They look very, very fine, like thin. Don't know how good the quality they are yet or anything like that. I do have some new brushes that I'm kind of obsessed with, to be honest. I'll have the link for them. And they're called Yaster. Oh yeah, that's it. I love these. Take the name down. Y-A-S-T-E-R-D. I'll leave it in my description. I really like them though, guys. Okay, so we have some liners. I'm just going to actually put that in my liner brush drawer because they're there. And this brush, I don't know what you are. Ooh, another liner. See, all these, I was on like a brush kick because I just couldn't find some good liner brushes. Every liner brushes I have were just either, when you clean them, all the bristles fall out, which is annoying as you can imagine. Or it just was, ugh, I don't know guys, it just wasn't up to par. They were fraying and there's nothing worse when you're trying to do a straight line and then your brush is fraying 17 different ways. Looking like a tree. So this guy, I think that was an eight. This is a very large um, gel brush. I'm usually between a four and a six. I think a six is like my size, but I can't remember if this was like, oh, I usually hate that style, but okay. It's on pretty tight though, so I'm not hating it right now. It's a pretty big brush. 
and get a lot of gel on there, which can be a good thing or sometimes it can be a pain. It's really cute though, it has little diamonds in it. Put that in the gel brush situation. Okay, let me just grab a, I'm just gonna use this little guy today because that's what's there. Oh my word, look at these guys. So these are some Sesame Street characters. Look at them. They're so cute. Probably gonna wanna rough up the back a little bit. Get a sanding pan and rough that up before you try to put it on your nail, but that would be so cute to just do a sesame set. I have all these things, but I never do sets with them. Do you guys ever just like want to do so much nail art, but then there's just like so many other million things that you have to do in the studio that it's like nail art gets pushed back, which is frustrating because it's a nail channel, girl. Like, get it together. I don't know. That's how I feel. I have such intentions, but. Uh oh, who did I lose? Aw, Cookie Monster fell. We got him. Okay, put that in the we'll figure it out later box. Oh, 11 minutes, guys. Oh, I have to hurry up this up. Wow. That's the problem, though. I forget what I got, and then I'm like, oh, it's so cute. Okay, so this is just some different stickers. Oh. I think that was me, though, guys. <laughs> I had these on my desk. Again, why I shouldn't, and I think I was doing, I was actually doing my nails, and I was probably, I didn't even realize that, well. Ew, gel. It's just the lid from a gel pot. Again, this is what happens when you get too much things and things are not organized, so then you didn't, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh. I didn't even realize that nasty okay guys i'm so sorry for that that was nothing to do with the seller that was completely me i got these in the other day when i was doing my nails and i opened gel and i must have put the gel on the side and not realize that it touched one of them and then the lid stuck to it or not the lid like the little top or whatever you want to call it plastic all right so these are some characters we have winnie the pooh we have some princesses mickey um, Donald Duck, Scooby, or not Scooby, um, is it Scooby? Yeah, it's Scooby. Lion King, Aristocat. So it's literally just a good mix. And we have Piglet, and then the Snow White, and some of her dwarfs. This one is, oh, this is all Betty Boop. Um, and this is another, oh, Betty Boop. So we get a whole whack Betty Boop. It's a cute character though. Okay, more brushes. Okay, so this looks like a, this is acrylic brush though. I don't do acrylic, so I have no clue why I bought this brush. I could still use it for different nail art. I'll see what I can use it for, but that's an acrylic brush. If I can't find use for it, to be honest, I'll probably just put it in a giveaway. I'm not sure why I bought that one or if they just sent me a different one. It's really cute though, but we're going to keep it in that just in case I do decide to put it in a giveaway if I can't use it. Okay, another gel brush. Again, that looks like a pretty decent size. So this is wood, so you're gonna wanna go over any wood brushes with a top coat and cure it, and that way you won't run into that wood changing color or anything like that from the acetone. Good little trick. And again, another so this is probably about a six. 
and that's probably about an eight. Not much difference, but these are oval brushes. I do prefer an oval rather than a square. They're cute. I'm obviously not, I'm not a huge fan of the wood, but again, if you just go over it with a clear non-white top coat, it will save your brush from getting all gunky if it does hit acetone. So again, I have the brush drawer open right beside me. So here we just have restock. So we have our the little lipstick applicators, which is great for stamping. Helps to get into small spaces, as well as the micros. So I did grab two of them each, and I did find some when I was actually going through my restock drawer. So they won't go to waste, but I didn't have to buy them when I did. But we have a few now, so I always try to check that restock drawer before. Okay, so these I grabbed for glue, for your little glue. I'll show you if I have one out. I don't have one open. You know, like these little glues, sometimes that top will um, like close over. So I just grabbed a pack of these. And they're even good for like around the house if you have little super glues. Everything has like a string on it. Okay, okay. well, what's going on here? Yeah, it just has like a little needle on the inside, which will poke through. I know it's so hard to see guys, I'm sorry, but it does. There's like a little needle. A lot of glues do come with that, but usually you lose them or it gets stuck in the glue or something. So I thought that'd be good to have in the studio as well as around the house. Well, let's shove that in that drawer. Okay, a heavy pack. Oh, that's why you're so heavy. These books, I grabbed a few more of them. Um, six to be exact. Um, pink and blue because that's just the theme that I've been going and I do have a few of these that I use for my sticker decals. Um, as well as water decals, but usually my water decals go in a bigger binder. But for the bigger sticker decals, these work really well. And then I just label them have them in the door like this if anything I'll put up a little picture and I'll kind of show you how my drawer is with these in it and I think it looks really cute and it works for seasonal stuff and kind of like just specific um, nail stickers so if you have like I don't know what this casino is coming to my brain if you have like 5d bears you know if Christmas if you have a small one Halloween that type of stuff so they work really well I did want to grab a few more of them nail tips okay these are some big ones too. Oh, full cover. Oh, these ones look so sick though. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely going to want to wear these. I probably will poke myself in the eye though. Like dangerous. These are extra, um, what do they call them? I think they called them extra crimped or something like that. But that is like the pointiest stiletto. I have seen. This is a five, so probably here. Oh yeah, I don't know what it said. I think it said it was like five XL or something like that. Who knows? I think once you get past like double XL, triple XL, like it's just craze. Like, <laughs> it's like who knows what after that is like. You know what I mean? But those are hella long and very pointy. Ow, that is actually quite sharp. So there is a press on. I probably would still go and maybe put like build that up. I hate a flat press on. Like I had long nails on before I did this sculpted set and they were just so flat. Like it annoyed me. Like I definitely would have had to build that out up a little bit just to keep that press on to, for my standard. I just, I don't know. I don't like a flat press on. It's weird. It looks like a press on when you do that, but pretty cool. I wanted to have them in my collection because I have a million and seven tips and I just love them all. So what's our time? 20 minutes. Oh, good. So we have some crones I thought would be really good, especially this time of year. I have loose crones, but I haven't really tried like um, 
how do you call it like the chrome that's not loose because <laughs> my brain's not working so i wanted to give that a go and this looks like a little makeup palette in all truth who knows maybe it is eyeshadow but um yeah so i thought it'd be good for this time of year good colors here kind of standard colors okay so we have oh good we have some christmas These are some water decals. So pretty cute. Loving like the little coffees, the little muffins and stuff, little cakes and you could definitely get some just cute little accents on these ones. Oh, okay, I did. So I grabbed two, which is kind of like me. Like I love the snow, that would be so cute put on like your four fingers so, and then just have like a little accent I don't know love it very oh pardon me guys very cute okay so here we just have some magnets these are actually good for when you are using your nail cutters let me see if I can just grab it quickly so, this is what they're good for. Let's have a long. So, say you want to, you have a guard. Sometimes you can buy them that they have it so you can get the same length. But I feel like that is like so you can make sure it's the same length. I don't know how. I feel like, oh, that's it. <laughs> You put it underneath the nail so it stops. So however length you want, you would have the same length every time. Like my nail's not even like that long to go in there, but you see what I'm saying? So that would stop your finger. So every finger would be the same length. Cutting it. smaller one so there we go so cut cut and it would be the same length because your metal is stopping you your magnets so that way you don't have to worry about cutting different lengths if you're just getting new to cutting like free cutting your tips so I thought they were handy to have why not so that's what those are for okay put you down there Okay, oh, we have some 5D gels, 4D, 5D, 3D. <laughs> so, should we even open them? I don't know. I just want to kind of see if the color does match the top if it does then we don't need to open them well I'll open one I guess so you guys can see if you are new and you don't know exactly what a 3d gel is so here we are which that matches pretty good the top color it is actually a lot lighter it looks a lot darker on camera it looks more like that actually it does match quite well so 3d gels are carving gels and you can they're very stiff so you can make them into whatever you want them to look like so basically if you're a gel user and you want to make all these 3d flowers and all these neat things that have that really good like definition in them these are great to use for gel users you can use acrylic too but a lot of times you can create these with acrylic but if you don't use acrylic then this is always it's kind of like your acrylic dupe for making that type of stuff if that makes sense so we have a blue we have a brown they don't have the colors on them and then we have a pinky purple and then we have a green I think I just grabbed a few colors that I thought might differ from the few I already have so I'll be nice to see them all opened up and then how we can use them this year okay 
26. We got a few more minutes. What's this? Oh, wow. I got to get something boring. Well, smaller scissors. I really don't like using that style of scissors on these packages, but. Okay. Oh my god, and more. Can you have some like grown up scissors, please? Wow, look at all these white things. I'm terrible. I was labeling last night. Okay, so all these are, if I can ever get into them, is buffers. I use a lot of different style of buffers. In my studio, I have ones that are very easily replaced, the uh, metal ones. If I have it handy, I'll show you quickly. I love this style as well that I get from Ali. These are replaceable. So they come off and there's a metal file underneath. Love them as well. So I do have that style in my studio. But sometimes I just like using big ones, even for myself. So I did grab two packs. I think pretty positive it's like a 180, 100, but who knows? I'll have to look on the thing. Okay, so here we have stickers. Okay, we have a whole whack of stickers, so we'll go through the stickers and then I think we'll call it from there. Still a pretty, pretty decent, pretty decent haul. I don't want them to be too long for you guys. Wow, so we have a whole whack of stickers. Right off the bat, I'll give you the finger right back to yourself. We have some MJ ones. Okay, Mickey. We have duplicates. Uh, we have some Christmas Mickey ones. Some different Christmas Mickey ones. Okay, we have Chip and Dale. Okay, so we have some like Chipmunk. I want to say more Alvin and the Chipmunks type of thing, but I don't know, it says Chippendale. It's not what I think of when I think of Chippendale. <laughs> Sorry. That's for grown folks. Um, we have some Pinocchio ones. Oh. And then we have, okay. We have some Beauty and the Beast ones. Some Toy Story ones. So I must have just got a good mix of like Disney type of characters. These will go super cute with those big um, kawaii charms we just got. Sesame Street. Okay, I must have had a small obsession with the M&M ones because I grabbed three. That's weird. I wonder if that was just a mistake, but who knows now. So we have some M&M ones. We have a couple more M&M ones. I have some kawaii's like that too. And then we have some Dumbo ones. And we have, oh, we have some Thumper ones. The Bunny Thumper. Bambi. Again, we have some just regular old Mickey ones. Oh my god, why is the guy dying? Like, it's crazy. Um, okay, just some nice white roses. Cute. I really don't remember ordering that, but cute with possibility. Probably did. And then we have some beautiful red roses. And then we have just, I don't know. What is that? Is that like an orchid type of flower? I don't know what type of flower that is. Anyways, there's some more flowers. We have some of this Joker ones. 
Okay, we have some like leave ones. Oh, well, we have some more, um, what do you call fall? Some more roses. My mom will love those ones. Okay, some more just leaves. A little bit tropical vibes. We have some fruit. Two of them. Some melons and strawberries. Little baby poo. Gotta love me some Winnie. Oh, super cute. So we have some frozen. Some Simpsons. Okay, so we have two LV Mickeys. Okay. We have oh, two Gucci Mickeys. Oh, there's LV too. So just designer. We can say designer Mickeys. And two designer Mickeys again. Some Chanel's. And then why did I get four Louis Vuittons? That doesn't seem right, but anyways, there's some more Louis here. Seems extra. I do have somebody that wants that, but I still don't feel like I needed four, but all right, girl. Yeah, so that's it. That was a, that's a good bunch of stickers though. That's a good variety, I like them. A few, I think I got a little too many, but hey. Can you ever have enough Mickey Mouse Louis Vuittons? I guess not. So guys, there you are. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. There'll be more to come. Um, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend. You know they're going to want to see all the goodies. And that's it. Have yourself a blessed day. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.